Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and it is cleaning day. So I have been taking things out to the garbage and putting things away. You can hear the vacuum going. We're starting to take the Christmas tree down. So let's see what we've got going on. Before we get started with more cleaning, um, I wanted to unbox my what I got from Grove. Do you get shipments from Grove? It is awesome if you don't. It, they, it's like a monthly service. You can do as much as you want. So I've been doing about $20 or so, $20 to $30 depending. Actually last month they did a little bit more because they have gift sets that I gave for Christmas. So that was awesome. But it's just kind of a monthly thing and you know that I love Mrs. Myers. So down below in the description box is a link with a code that will get you a five piece set, I believe, and maybe even $10 off or something like that. So it's worth it, I think. But let me show you what I got. Okay, so I, oh, I got a little thank you note. That was nice. Okay, so. I got some of these walnut scrubbers. I love them. I go through about two a month or so, and I'm okay with that. These are awesome. And every shipment I do, I get paper towels. They have a, um, a line called Seedling, and so they are made from bamboo. And um, so they are kind of like more, a little smaller than like the typical, but you know what? I'm okay with that because I, I love the the thought behind it is bamboo grows like within a few months and so it's it's more um, earth friendly and so if I'm using a little bit less paper product so to say I'm okay with that so I always get one of these and bathroom tissue which I it actually lasts a long time so I'm okay with that so I love these things and I will always be in my monthly orders um, let's see what else I got Okay, so I I also love that how they put the little um, tape on everything to make sure these don't, the triggers don't leak and or break. But this is a mighty big bottle of tub and tile scrubber. So this is new for me. I can't wait to use it. We've been wanting to try something in the shower to clean it up. And I also purchased for that this handy dandy scrubber so that is going to do like the bottom of the floors in um the shower so excited about that what else did i get oh yes some more of the powder this is meyer's lavender scent the cleaner let me see ta-da it's the scrub so I love this in the sinks. I will love it in the tub, of course, and any other surface that needs a little bit of extra scrubbing. It smells good and it's not so bad on the hands. So, and if you're noticing my nails, today is day number six and I just went to Walmart and I got some more. So look at those cute ones, a little light pink. So I'll try those too. That did not come, the nails did not come in the Grove order. <laughs> And I think that's all I got for this purchase. But everything you can see here, it comes nicely packaged and it can come. This order came a little bit longer because of, sure, because of Christmas. So the first time I ordered from Grove, it came in 24 hours. I was like, that is craziness. The second time I've ordered, it came in two days. And then this one, because of Christmas, came in six days. But that's okay. I'm sure it's just because of how the... The days off are working, but I'm sure you'll get it within a few days. So it's good stuff. Entertainment Center is done. The boys are starting to play video games. So I'm just going to do some dec decorating. I'm going to change out this quote. And happy that the living room is back to normal with Jonas dancing in it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a very, very yummy um, dip right now that we can have 
and I'm so excited to try it and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more. So I thought I would make a snack, a treat, something you could take to a party, maybe a New Year's Eve party coming up. But a lot of you probably already have your own recipes of this. It's one of my favorite dips to eat. It's buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken dip. And I love it. My friends have great recipes, but all of them have like ranch or mayonnaise in it. And if you've been following my channel, my husband and kids are hard nosed to mayonnaise. So I found one that's just cream cheese. Now, cream cheese still is a little bit, um, you know, on that side of maybe I shouldn't use it, but we I use a lot of cream cheese with cooking and it just makes things creamy. So we're gonna give it a try. So using two bricks of cream cheese, I even got a rotisserie chicken because I was determined to get this done today. And um, I'm just gonna use a buffalo wing sauce that I already had in the fridge. So I'm gonna forego using the Frank's hot sauce with the butter. So the recipe will be at the end of the video, um, just like I got it. And so you could follow that recipe if you love blue cheese because my kids do not and nobody else here does. Um, so I'm gonna do cheddar cheese. So. This is what we're gonna do. It's gonna be in the crock pot, you know, an hour to two hours. I'm gonna kind of check on that, but I'm gonna bring you closer and show you just kind of a dump it all in. Before I turn it on, I am going to give it a quick spray. That way it'll be easy to scoop it out. So two blocks of cream cheese are gonna go into the crock pot. I'm just kind of making sure it's softened because that's gonna make this recipe cook really a lot faster and mix into the the chicken very well so just kind of getting that in there and then I'm going to add the hot sauce and the chicken so let me get this doesn't want to come off my spoon okay here's chicken rotisserie just cut up I have friends that have used canned chicken in the past and it was delicious i mean i couldn't even tell honestly so we're going to mix that now this is my first time making this recipe i know it's pretty pretty sad but nobody would eat it here but when i presented that it was in cream cheese form everybody was on board to try so hopefully it'll be a good one so just some um, hot sauce And I'm gonna put some a little bit, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more. Just make sure I'm covering all of that. And then some cheeses. Mozzarella. Now I normally cut my own cheeses, um, but I don't use a lot of mozzarella. So I'm gonna just go ahead and buy this shredded. And then I'm just gonna to top it with some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna try to give it a little mix in a little here. Oh, it's already smelling really good. That's great. And then I'm just gonna top with cheddar cheese and let it go on low for an hour or two and just kind of check on that. And I can't wait to try. <laughs> So while that is going in the crock pot, I am going to clean my kitchen table. Now, dare I even show you, I'm going to, hold we on. We haven't even put any of the toys away that the boys got, well, mostly Ezra got for Christmas. So I need to figure out where to put Legos. Ah! It's all done with Ezra's help. So it's 
been two hours on low and after the first hour I gave it a good mix and then I'm letting it go and the timer just went off. So let me show you what it looks like. Oh yes, that looks just like ch buffalo chicken dip. Can't wait to try it, I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna cut a, cut a few pieces of this French bread and just keep it on a, on a plate. I'm really hoping that the, that the boys or even Paul really like it because it's one of my favorites. And if not, I'm gonna have to eat this whole thing. Or maybe I'll drop some off at Tina's house. <laughs> it's also very good with tortilla chips. So, shall we plate? So I'm just putting it on a little bit of this tortilla. I'm making sure it doesn't burn me. Mmm, so good. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even need ranch or mayo. This is delicious. Okay, I'm gonna go have some more. It is delicious, I love it, and I probably could eat all of that, but I probably will try to share it with somebody or friends, <laughs> my neighbors. Uh, Paul said he's gonna try it, so I'm, we're hoping, right? <laughs> So I'm so glad that you stopped by my channel today. We are just kind of cleaning up Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And now for the new year to be coming, it's going to be great. We're gonna start anew, right? It just feels good. We're gonna make things happen. So I'm so grateful you stopped by my channel today. I hope you liked the recipe. And stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next.